hour. The community of Rosalie, Alabama was hit hard by that tornado down there. One resident says he called his daughter and told her she had seen her community for the last time. But as News Channel Line's Catherine Marchand tells us, one man who lost everything is one of the most optimistic of all. Imagine being asleep in this bed, feeling a few raindrops on your forehead and waking up to this. Greg Day did. He's the owner of this home and this entire plaza. And now the community's trying to help him pick up the pieces. In a small town, everyone knows everyone. All right, see you, Jim. In Rosalie, everyone has a special bond with Greg Day. He's like a brother to all of us. But now the man who's been helping his community for 30 years needs help himself. He's in a time of need. He's lost his business, his home, his, his livelihood. As soon as the tornado touched down, his friends rushed over to check on him. Turned in the parking lot and my heart dropped. Looking at the wreckage, they didn't know if he was alive. Jumped out and yelled his name and was so happy when he, uh, when he answered me back. Most people who survive something like this would be in tears, but even though he didn't want to tell us his story, today we heard Greg humming. Greg and I have always had a joke that every day a holiday in Rosalind. <laughs> He's had that attitude ever since I've, I've known him. Greg told me he has a mess to clean up, but other than that, he's good to go. It's no surprise that with such a positive outlook, Life's too short to be sad. so many people Hand it up here, Bill. will have Greg's back. I done called him. Allison's on the way with a hundred of them. His phone was just ringing one, one after another. To Greg Day, if you're not having a good day in Rosalie, you're not really trying. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He's, he's, he's right about that. Catherine Marchand, News Channel 9. The Rosalie tornado's path was about a mile and a half long and 200 miles or 200 yards wide. Some in Polk County are still picking up the pieces after a powerful tornado touched down Wednesday. Two people were killed, buildings and homes destroyed. The organization People Helping People provides for those in need in Polk and surrounding counties. But the owners tell us the recent support for storm victims seems to be coming from all over. Just rely on God and anything that we can help you with. You just come and tell us, get a hold of us some, however, and we will do our very level-headed best to help you with whatever it is you need. 